I'm Carsten, the title prop, and welcome to the prop show. Hello my friends, nice to see you on my YouTube channel. I'm Carsten, the Teleprop, and I want to show you today how I painted a tank from the company Hair46. It is an Italian tank, scale 156, Wargaming scale, and uh, yeah, it is an Italian tank, the P43. I think the name is Caro Amato P43, if I'm not wrong. Um, <clears throat> I painted a kind of splinter camouflage on the tank because if you google the tank you will always find this kind of camouflage. Yeah, you see it's... Um, yeah, <clears throat> I mean it's not a big thing to paint this one but you need a lot of time. It's not a normal camouflage but you can finish maybe in a half hour. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, it was interesting, it was a nice experience for me and I try to do, to develop this one, these kinds of camouflages, uh, how to paint this one and how I can do it maybe better in the next time. Uh, the idea was it to use as much as possible the airbrush and uh, work not so much with normal brush. But I will show you now the video, you will see how I made it and we can talk later about this one. I hope you have a little bit of time, uh, drink a coffee, enjoy the video and yeah, see you in a few minutes.
Okay, my friends, you saw it was, you, you need a lot of time to paint these kind of camouflage uh, on the tank. But finally, you saw the result and I'm happy with the result. It was the first time where I painted these kind of camouflage. I will try to do a little bit more tanks with uh, hard edge camouflages, with different stripes on the tank, whatever. And this is uh, how I want to do it in the next time where I can try uh, where I can use more um, the airbrush more than uh, the normal brushwork because I don't like it if you see on the model the stripes where you painted uh, with the brush it is I don't like it I'm not happy with this one if I see this one on my tank however if you want to have more information about the tank you can buy this one yeah like I said before by the company hair 46 the jump company you can see their dress here now yeah and I can recommend the company it was easy to build the tank together and uh, check out the site it is they have nice uh, in 1 100 scale uh, when if tanks the German tanks some nice uh, miniatures yeah miniatures what you can't find from other companies um, It is a nice company. I like it. It is. I painted many models from Hair 46. Uh, I'm always in contact with Hair 46. The models are nice, and uh, it is. Um, check out the site. I mean, I can talk a lot about this one. If you like it, you will like it. If you check out the site. The other things, um, the resin products. Uh, I'm very happy in the last time with the oil colors from Abo by McGimenez. It is easy to work with the colors. The colors are made for modellers. These are not our normal artist colors. They dry faster. Uh, you have all the right colors what you need for uh, military modeling or for uh, modeling miniatures. And. The other thing, it was interesting to work with, with, with different colors. I worked with lacquer paint colors from two different companies. I worked with um, the acrylic colors from Amo by Jimenez. And I will try to mix it more and more in the, last, in the next time. And yes, if you check out the, the site from Amo. You can find all the nice uh, version products on the website from Emo or ask your local dealer for sure you know where uh, to order this one or maybe he has some shelves where you can buy the stuff in the shop. That's all in the moment. Um, in the future what I will do, there are some things are coming in the future what I want to paint but finally I'm not sure if I want to do this one more in English, uh, more in English language. Yeah, I want to do it maybe in German language. I'm not sure because you see it always. I have sometimes problems to talk free in English in front of the camera. Um, but um, it would be nice to hear what you you think about this one, about the videos. I like. Do you like the style? If you, how I do it, and uh, do you understand what I tell you when I talk in English? Make it sense what I tell you in English. Uh, however, write me something and check out my Facebook site. You can see the address here from my uh, Facebook site and type me something about this one. What do you think about the English language and uh, or is it a problem for you to see the videos in German language? That would be nice if you can give me some information. What do you think about this one? That's all at the moment. See you next time and yeah, I'm not sure if I do another video before Christmas, but uh, we will see. Have a nice day, thank you for watching my video and see you next time. Bye bye.